I awoke this morning with a very challenging message on Facebook. A Canadian friend wrote, Mike, your book is charming, but I still don't know why I should buy it. Good question, since I have 1,500 to sell. So here goes Canada and Australia too, of course, trying to persuade you that you need my memoirs. Firstly, it's a very unusual book in many ways. It's very nice to hold. It feels quality. That although it's self-published, it feels like it's snuck out of the club of really posh books. Secondly, although I love the cover the way it is, I have another cover because I think I will sell this from my cargo bike at markets to cyclists. They can dress the book any way they want. Now, maybe that's been done before, I don't know. Thirdly, when you open the book, when you flip the pages, you'll see that every image is framed by what's like a colored mount. I think this sets off the paintings very well, and I think it makes the book very unusual too. Fourthly, every page that you land on, you'll find that it's a story about why the painting there was done. I know we love stories, and I think we love stories about the creative process. Fifthly, you'll find out that a key driver for me is a film I made about Vincent 30 years ago, a film which required me to do many copies of his paintings, and from that to develop a love of his swirling and energetic style and to go outside and paint in a similar way myself. And that's what I've done ever since. I just love that way of engaging with nature. And I love the fact that I'm out there making my mark, but leaving no mark. Taking ownership without ownership. It's wonderful. And I'm hoping that this book, one of the reasons you'll be so glad you bought it, is because it will provoke you to think, could I do that? Even if you've never painted, the act of going outside and painting is such an affirmative one. And for me, it produces real euphoria. One of the most unusual features in the book, and I, I think this also has never been done, is at the back of the book, I've left a window. And in that window, I do drawings, um, original drawings. If you'd like to pay a little bit more than the basic price, which is 35 bucks, then you'll get an original drawing. One of my favorites, which is a younger me and my bike. I love doing this drawing. This is a memoir. And another thing that you might be feeling with the book in hand is whether your story is a memoir that could be self-published. Perhaps it could. Perhaps you'll be writing to me about how I got such a quality result with this book. Speaking of that, I think that even if you're not into art, you probably know somebody who is. And I think you will be much thanked by somebody if you decide to give this book as a present. A very easy and economic present at $35, surely, for something of this quality and so unusual. Isn't that what we crave, the unusual? Anyway, have I been persuasive, Canada? I guess you'll let me know. And Australia, my most important target audience, you'll let me know too, I guess. <laughs>